What's up guys, this is the third video of the building a Slack bot with Golang series. And now we're going to start writing our code. So as you can see, I'm in my PowerShell. You could be on uh, Ubuntu terminal or Mac terminal, doesn't matter, the commands will be the same. So I'm in my folder where I keep all my Golang code. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory called Slack test. And I'm going to cd into Slack test. And here we'll run go mod in it and we'll say github.com slash akhil slash slack test okay so it has created a go mod file and i'll as you know i'll be needing a package uh which is the you know the socket package for slack uh, which somebody has already created for us so it's called github.com slash shomali one one slash slacker so let's give it some time to actually install it. I think it's installed it now. So now we can start using that package inside, inside our code. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, VS code. You could be using any other code editor, not a problem. And let me now try to get my uh, OBS software to actually show you that file. It's going to take a while. Uh, I'm sorry, it's quite standard actually. Yeah, so I hope now you can see it on my screen. So uh, I've opened my uh, opened my VS Code window, and we'll create a file here called go, main .go. And as you know, we do three things that are standard, right? We'll say package main, and we'll import some uh, packages, uh, and then we'll have our func main, right, which is the main entry point into the program into any GoLang program. And here, I want to have another uh, function called print command events which is uh, simply going to print all the command events that I uh, give to slack right but this is going to print in my terminal now uh, slack has the slack bots have uh, something called as a command so it's basically bot dot command right and uh, to the bot we can give different commands right so like for example we can give it a command called ping let's say uh, so to, to be able to give these commands to the bot we'll obviously have to initialize the bot right so we'll say bot is equal to slacker slacker is the library that we'll be using and we'll say new client that uh, slacker is the library by the way we, that we've just installed that somali slacker right and here we'll say os dot get environment and slack bot token and then we'll say comma os dot get environment slack app token now i could just uh, uh, not use get environment and just pass the tokens here directly right but I won't do that because uh, we'll have to keep our code modular so that in the future, if we want to have a config file or if we want to set uh, environment in any other way, we can still, uh, you know, uh, the, the code will still be relevant, right? You won't have to do a lot of changes. And obviously, uh, if you want to go to into production, uh, you will have to get the environment variables from somewhere, right? Like, let's say if you want to host it on Heroku or somewhere like that. So for now, for the sake of this video, since this is a test video and this is not going to production, I'm going to set the uh, OS uh, environment out here itself, right? So I'm going to say set environment for Slack bot token. And here I'll pass my token. Okay, and you also have your token already, which I've shown you in the previous videos. And here I'll set my environment for the Slack app token. Right, so you have both of these tokens. And now let me copy and paste my tokens here. So my Slack, this is my Slack bot token. So uh, the token that starts with XOXB, that's your Slack bot token, all right. And the one that starts with XAPP, that's your Slack app token just in case you know you're not sure which one is which this is how you can check you know xoxb for slack bot and xapb for slack app token and now obviously it's giving us a squiggly line because it doesn't know what slacker is 
and it's automatically also importing uh, the package that we are needing for uh, you know on its own like it knows that okay os i'm using os so I, it wants to import the os package and uh, here after creating our bot we are going to also say print command sorry I'm going to say go print command events uh, the spelling here is wrong, obviously, of events. So just move this E from here, remove this E from here. And here we're going to pass bot dot command events. All right. So whatever commands that I pass to my uh, bot, right, I, I also want them to show up uh, in my terminal so that I know everything is working fine. And uh, here, what we're going to say is we are going to get a pointer to the command events that we have just po uh, passed it, command event. And then we're going to have a channel analytics channel. All right. And all we want to do here is basically we want to print out uh, the the timestamp of the command, the command itself, the parameters, and the event. All right. So what we'll do is we'll have to actually range over this range analytics channel. Spelling of event is wrong. And then we'll say fmt dot print ln command events and we'll say fmt dot print ln event dot time stamp so fmt dot print ln um Let's say event dot the command itself, right? And now we want the parameters. So we'll say fmd dot print ln to print out the event dot parameters, and then the event. We want to print out the event as well. So we'll say print ln say event dot event. Okay, so we we were able to range over the events, right? We were able to get event one by one, and then we uh, basically print out all the values inside the event, and then we'll just keep one empty print in as well, all right? So that's done, and so it was able to automatically get GitHub Shamali Slacker for us. And the other packages that we will need will be context and we'll be needing log to log out if there's any error. And I think that is it. I think I don't think we need any more packages for now. And here, coming back to here, the command, this, this basically this part, right? The command part is actually the most important uh, function uh, in this entire project. All right. So what I'll also do is I'll just write some code to just some cancel. This is this is standard stuff, right? Uh, if you've seen my previous videos, you know this is standard stuff. And let's say differ cancel, and we'll also get our bot to listen in context if there's an error which is error is not equal to nil that means there's an error and you log out fatal error okay so yeah so coming back this is the so we have written out our what do you call it our uh, boilerplate code all of this is like uh, you know not necessary but the, the this part is very necessary right the command itself so the command and how do we handle the command now let's uh, you know uh, get to that so here we'll 
pass the address of our slacker dot command definition. Okay. And inside the definition, we'll have a handler to handle the event. And it will have a function that will help us to handle it. And inside that function, we want to send a response. Let me write it here. We'll send a response dot reply and we'll just say pong. So if somebody says ping to our bot, well, we just want to reply uh, pong, right? And so all of these things it has filled up automatically. So like, for example, it'll have uh, context, it'll have request, it'll have response, right? These three things it'll have. And here we'll just add a comma so that everything works properly. So this uh, is our entire code. Now let me just go through it once and see if there, has, there is any typo, if there's any uh, other mistake that we've made. Just give me a second. So we have our print command events uh, function and everything looks good there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I mean, I'm still expecting that there could be some errors uh, right when we run this program and that is not a problem. You have to be very comfortable with errors. That's what developers do, right? Uh, so bot looks all right to me and go print command events looks fine i'll just add a space here so that i can know that these are two different functions then you have your bot.command which is the most important function and everything looks good here as well then you have your context cancelling and your bot listen yeah everything looks good now what we can do is we can head over back to our powershell and see what's up out there right so let's try building this and see what happens so it, it doesn't give me any errors so i'll say go run main dot go and it should now say yeah connected to slack with socket mode right so everything looks good uh you know for now now what what should we should do is we should actually go over to our browser let me see if i can pull it up Somehow, if I can somehow pull up my browser in OBS. Um, I'm not able to do that, actually. What I'll do is I'll just uh, stop this video, I think. Or no, yeah, sorry, I was able to do that. Awesome. So um, I'm in my Slack uh, channel. Uh, sorry, it's my Slack account. And this is our workspace. I have a lot of people, other people that work in my firm. And so this is our general channel, right? And uh, as you can see, I've already tested the bot before. Uh, so I, which is, uh, you know, I tested it yesterday. Uh, so now let's uh, test it right now. So right now our program is running, right? As you can see, it's connected to Slack mode. Uh, now let's say we all, all we have to do is mention test bot. In many cases, uh, your test bot won't be added to the general channel. So uh, the Slack bot will ask you, do you want to add Mr. Test bot to the general channel? So all you have to do is say yes. So you'll say, you'll mention test bot, right? And it'll say ping and you expect it to say pong, right? So everything is working perfectly fine. And so that was your Slack bot. And we've built a very, very basic Slack bot that just says uh, pong when you say ping. But the thing is that we'll be building some really, uh, you know, advanced Slack bots as well. Uh, slack bots that can tell you the weather that can uh, uh, that can uh, get you a crypto market information that can get get you stock market information uh, that can uh, that can also help you uh, you know get your tickets from jira so we'll we'll build all of that it's not a problem uh, and uh, so do say subscribe to this channel so that uh, you could come to know when those kind of videos come out and the next videos that will be coming out now will be around Discord and creating a Discord bot. So if you're liking this uh, series, then do subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching. And also leave any comments if you are finding any difficulties while uh, in this uh, entire process. And thank you for watching.